What it do, KT TV? This is KT, and I'm coming at you live with another episode of the Daily K Podcast. And on today's episode, we have CEO and founder of the Social Ghost, Mr. D. Will. How you doing today, Mr. Will? Yeah, yo, yo, what up? I'm doing pretty well. What's going on, KT? Say, man, I, I wanted to say thank you for taking a few minutes out. The, the goats are very busy. Uh, you are very busy, and I know it's all uh, giving back, so it's important work, man. So thank you for taking a few minutes, man. Man, anything I can do for you, you already know, man. You my top priority, bro. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. So, as we jump into things, I want first off want to say how have you been doing during the pandemic, man, and how are things on your side with the ghosts? Okay, well, well, as far as the pandemic, man, everything been going pretty well here. I don't know how often you know you kind of keep up with home, but now we're having issues, so um, everyone's required to wear a mask here when you're out in public. Um, but I've been doing pretty well, man. Um, during the pandemic, we kind of slowed down with, with um, you know, doing what we do. But we kind of picked back up because actually, this, I believe it's the perfect time. Actually, everybody's, you know, using the Internet. You know, Internet usage is very high. So I'm like, well, we need to continue to do what we do. Um, so everything within Social Goals, man, everything going pretty well. I say we actually had an increase in the services we provide to the people. And so as we talk about those services, man. Can, can you give the audience a little bit of background about you, uh, how you created the Social Ghost, and then what does the acronym stand for? Okay, well, um, currently, you know, my, my job job, you know, my day job, um, I work for the state of Louisiana, I'm a child welfare specialist three. Um, Social Ghost was created in 2016, man, and Social Ghost was just a show. Um, and I created it because I felt like I could do more and establish a platform to help out my community, man. And I'm used to being more active, you know, being involved in things going on in the city. So, man, what Social Goals stands for, Social Goats, is, is one word. A lot of people separate Social and Goats is actually one word with the capital G. But Social Goals stand for Socially Getting Others Aware Today Successfully. So that's what it actually stands for, man. And yeah. The thing is, like, how did you, who came up with the name? Was it you? I did. Yeah, man. And so, you know, when you think about that and then you put together with the logo, hey, man, that, that was some good craftsmanship right there, man. Man, thank you, man. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I think it's kind of crafty because, you know, when people think of goats, you think of greatest of all time. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. so I'm like, man, you know, I think that the name would be eye-catching mm -hmm. to, to people because they automatically going to think that. But once I break it down and ask me and I break it, it's like, oh, wow. Yeah, you know? yeah, that's, that's, that's why I had to make sure. Yeah, that's yes, why I sir. had to get that uh, acronym out there, man. And yes, so now, sir. what kind of content, uh, for, for anybody that don't know, what kind of content do you all have on the channel? Uh, and how do you, um, if that's your role, or how do the person who do it, uh, decide what you want to put on the channel? Well, I mean, you know, it, Going back to that acronym, um, socially getting others aware today successfully, there are so many platforms that you have in the world today. So, you know, we, we come at them with music. We have Unplug, which is music based. We help to promote local artists um, on Thursdays before the vision, a podcast she was on with me, which is more about entrepreneurship. Um, then we have on um, Fridays, we have the Stroh Show, former NBA player, Stroh Miles Swift. It's more geared on sports and also live on Broadway, which is a radio show um, kind of coupled with a talk show. But those are the active shows we have. You know, we've had probably a million shows lately, but, you know, people are not as active uh, with the shows we have. So that's that's how it is now. Yeah. And now, when when you got ready to start it, I know you said it was a channel, but did you plan on taking it to on just keeping it online, or did you plan on going to the TV? Well, Social Ghost is basically an Internet-based network. So when we established it, it was mainly for the Internet before it had actually increased and, you know, the usage was going on with the pandemic. It's, it's strictly an internet-based network. Okay, and what if they call and they say, well, D-Will, Social Ghost, well, we need you on the network. What you, what you going to say, man? Hey, man, I ask, you know, what you're trying to provide, what you're doing, and, you know, it kind of depends. We have a criteria. You know, we just don't want to let anybody on the network. You know, the thing is getting others aware today successfully. We try to stay on the positive note. You know, I don't want to promote anything negative. So, you know, you've had people come in, hey, man, well, you know, I got to come out because I got to, you know, show people that I'm popping people with the guns and pop. You know, I, I can't I can't promote that. You know what I'm saying? That's not that's not what we're all about. So I couldn't do anything like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And man, from from your head just to where you are now, um, uh, it was a lot of growth. But you know, with a lot of growth and a lot of progress comes a lot of strife. 
Right. And so as we talk about that until what you are today, what kind of obstacles did you have to overcome? Like what's one lasting one that, that just really shaped oh, wow. you? Man, um, you know, and putting this out here for our audience, man, like I said, I, I don't do this alone. Like I said, there's a team of us. I have a board of, of seven seven members and I have people that actually run the podcast. So it's it's been pretty difficult um, with dealing with other people, especially um, when you're dealing with other people and they're volunteering their time. I mean, that's been like one of the biggest obstacles. And then with people um, in, you know, counseling interviews, not showing up for the interviews, that's been really like the biggest obstacle because, you know, we're, we're um, advertising for these people. We're um, actually putting a lot into the people that we're bringing on. So we're building you up to come on and actually, you know, for you. This is We're doing this for the people. It's not for us. It's for the people. So that's been the biggest thing. Mm, okay, yeah. And just just that, that largest commodity, which is that time and, and it being right. mismanaged at some points. Right, yeah, absolutely. Man, I understand that, especially, like I say, because you are non-profit. Right. We're yes. non-profit. We're also pro- we're for-profit as well. Okay, we're okay. We're on Social Ghost Media LLC as well, so we're both. We have L3C. Oh, okay. And so people kind of volunteer, um, just like interns, things like that. Right. On our um, on our non-profit side. But yes. our for-profit, we actually do media production, just like the news stations. Okay. You know, when stuff's going on, you know, like crime and things going on in the city, we're right there as well. Okay. So we're doing media production, recovering events. We also do that as well. Mm. And now, being, being a veteran in the game, and just living okay. in the city for so long, um, since starting the Ghost, what kind of impact have you seen it make on the city of Shreveport? Man, um, I, I'm, I'm very surprised at, at the impact that we've made, man. You know, because a lot of the news stations that are here locally, they can't go into um, some of the urban neighborhoods like we can. We're very well accepted in it because they know what we're doing. You know, we, we're just we're providing a positive message. So, you know, a lot of the, the tougher areas, you wouldn't see really many people going in, you know, they accept us open arms. So we're able to go there and, you know, talk with people. And, you know, when they see us, they're like, oh, man, I go to Goats. You know what I'm saying? I got to, hey, man, give me a shirt. You know, like, so it's really, really a big deal, man, because they know that we're actually trying to help. You know, we're trying to show people and change the narrative of what we are. You know, they think in the urban areas or the areas that are, you know, very minority, heavily people stay, they think that, you know, they get that negative connotation. So we're able to go in there and show the positive parts of it and you know like so i reside in the area like that so people know that it's the real deal you can reach out and touch me yes sir yes sir and that's what it's about man just being out in the community being active and and being absolutely you know being accessible absolutely yes sir and so man what's next for the goats man you you got the podcast you just relaunched the radio what's next man man i would love to eventually um be on tv with it have one of these tv stations you look on your cables and you, you turn it down because, you know, podcasting, there's a lot of people that have channels like Revolt and um, I forget the other one, Revolt, and I think that's Diddy, and then you got Title. That's what I mean. I would love to see Social Ghosts on a channel like that eventually. So we got to find Byron Allen so Byron Allen can make it happen. Hey, he can definitely <laughs> make it happen. If he can't, he'll buy the place. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Man, that's all yeah. good, man. And so now, as we wrap it up, man, you think about um, – uh, the kids, man, or, or even not even the kids, because I was an adult, but I seen what you was doing, man, and I said, why? Well, right. How can I do this for education or, or educators? And so then it started, you know, and so that's why we kind of right. plug together. But for right. somebody who's just getting started now, um, what kind of words would you say for them, man, on, on knowing up as what they're going to go against? What, what, what would you say to them? Man, the first thing that I would tell anybody, man, trying to do something alone, it's the toughest thing that you can do, man. If you can find even a couple of people, man, who you trust, who you believe that can see your vision, man, I try to form a team. And then, you know, you try to spread the message because, you know, it it takes a village. You know, that 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 quote is very meaningful, man. It's hard to do things alone. You know, a lot of people try to do things alone, but it is very tough, man. I would if someone wanted to start out doing it like, look, man, you know, establish your base. Start trying to get as many people as you can to follow you, you know, and, and then you just try to get people to believe in your message. And if you have any friends that you know who, you know, that are very popular or, you know, kind of out there, get with them. And then, you know, they'll help you. And that's how you actually kind of establish your base and you go from there, man. You know, I had to reach out to you, you know, a couple of friends, Stroll Mile. Um, I had to reach out to some, some very big people to actually help me get to the point where we are now. Because, you, as you know, Social Ghost is just a show, but now it's a network. So, you know, we we were out everywhere. I have, we, we operate in different states. You know, we operate there in Texas. We operate here in Louisiana and Georgia right now. 
But the plan is to be in all 50 states eventually. Yes, sir. Slowly right. but surely. That's right. it, man. Build a team. You can't do it alone. You can't do it alone, man. I'm telling you, I, I, I could not sit here and take all the credit for this, man. I, if I sit here and told you names, I'd be here all day, man. But it takes a team, man. Without my team, I'm nothing. You know, and and that that just goes to say, like I I just um, kind of delegated, uh, you know, like my my assistant uh, who was emailing you, you know, to set up the dates right. and things like that. And so, uh, right. I mean, just to have that off um, is a blessing, you know. And so you think Absolutely. about that, how she say, I don't know how you was doing it all by yourself, you know. And so, but I was saying it was hard, that's so why I had to get somebody. Uh, yeah. So so that's Absolutely. definitely a good tidbit, man. That's definitely a good tidbit. Absolutely. Uh, so before we go, can you please give them the contact information? How do they find the social goals? All right, man, you can go to www.socialgoals.org and you'll actually see um, when you go to our website, you can scroll to the bottom. You'll see all of the platforms that we're, we're available that we're on. We're on everything. And I mean, literally everything. So when you see, you can click on it to take you right to our page. So if you go to www.socialgoals.org, you will be able to access everything, even for the radio. If you want to come on to our radio station, SGR 81.4 of the Heat, um, you'll see it on the page. You can listen to it, click our uh, radio channel, and listen to what we got going on, whatever content's on at that time. Including me soon. Hey. KTTV is coming, y'all. Hey. Y'all ain't hey. great. KTTV is coming to SGR 81.4. My boy KT, hey, coming. Hey, you know, you the real deal. I appreciate it, brother. We just, we working out here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Absolutely. I think that'll do it for us, man. I'm, once again, thank you for spending a few time with me, D-Will. <laughs> Man, it's been an honor and a pleasure, man. Anytime, KTTV, hey, man, you, you the big deal, man. Let's, and you make the big noise out there, bro. And anything we can do to support, we, we here for you, brother. That'll do it. I appreciate it, brother. All right, All man. Right. This is KT for KTTV signing out. 100. Holla.